This orthosis is for Dupuytren's contracture, um, which is a contracture around the MCP joint. This patient specifically has them at the fourth and fifth digit. So we will make a static orthosis to extend those fingers as much as possible. Materials needed, I'm going to use um, just a paper towel to make a pattern for myself, the thermoplastic material, and scissors for now. So first I'm going to trace the patient's hand. I'm going to stop here because these are the two affected fingers. And then it would come down to about her distal palmar crease. And then this is for the thumb. Now I'm going to cut it out after I trace it on the pattern and throw it in the heat pan to warm. I cut out the pattern um, on the paper towel and then I traced it on the thermoplastic material. Now I'm going to put it in the splint pan to heat up and then I'll cut it out. Now that the splint is molded, I have to make sure that it clears her thumb so I could cut a little bit here. Also a little bit more down near the distal palmar crease and it also needs to clear this middle finger see it's hitting a little bit. So I'm gonna cut those off and make those adjustments now. So I made those adjustments. Now I'm pulling the thumb piece around over here to support this area. And I'm putting pressure on her fourth and fifth fingers to straighten them as much as possible. They may not be able to get that zero degrees of extension, but you can make more each week to progressively get there. Now I'm just waiting for it to cool down and mold to the patient's hand. Now I put hook Velcro along the top part where the fingers are going to be and then a piece here and here for the thumb area and then two at the bottom for the wrist. Now I'm going to use the soft velcro to anchor it around. I made little strips here so it's a little bit more comfortable when the patient goes into flexion and extension of the wrist so this doesn't scratch up against her. You want to make sure it's pretty tight. And then this last part, I cut the large piece of Velcro in half, and I'm going to spiral it around her fingers so it's a little bit more comfortable. You can cut the excess off, have the patient move around, make sure it feels comfortable, and cut a little bit of excess down here as well. And they should be wearing this all the time at, at night mainly. Most people get out of it during the day, but it definitely should be worn every night.